Hello guys, welcome back, it's Mr. Crash Base once again. Mm, today we're gonna do a, a video, you know, which, not, which is based on mathematics. So, uh, first of all, it's, you know, kind of like an inequality, inequality, you know, a fault in mathematics, we can say that. But, um, yeah, let's just go, go ahead and um, see uh, what's going on. So, first of all, I'm gonna take a number, which is negative 20 well obviously negative 20 is equal to negative 20 so that's where uh, you know we start um, now we can split negative 20 into uh, in a couple of ways because first one would be 36 minus I'm sorry 16 minus 36 I'm sorry um, 16 minus 36 the next one would be 25 minus 45 so both of them they sum up to minus 20 I'm sorry negative 20 um, yeah so wh what we're gonna do is uh, let's look at these two numbers over here 16 and 25 they are all perfect squares uh, well 36 is also a perfect square but we're not gonna um, write that in a squared form yet so we'll just take um, 4 square minus 36 equals 5 square minus 45 oh, yeah that's all we're gonna do right now and the next step is we're gonna split 36 and 45 so let me just copy this I'm quite lazy so um, yeah now 36 and 45 both of them can be written as a product of 9 so um, I'm gonna write this as 4 times 9 and I'll write this as 5 times 9 <coughs> yeah that's all so um, the next step what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, I'll just copy that so the next step I'll just um, subtract um, 81 over 4 on both sides well, we have to do it on both sides, or else it will it'll become an inequality. So, um, yeah. So we've um, made a subtra, uh, you know, a difference of 81 over 4 on both sides. We don't have an inequality. So, um, yeah. Now, if we take a close look at 81 over 4, well, we can see that it's just the squared form of 9 by 2 because 81 is 9 squared and 4 is 2 squared so uh, let's go ahead and copy this again uh, I'm sorry uh, okay so we'll write this as 9 divided by 2 9 over 2 whatever whole square over here uh, we'll just copy this and paste it over there uh, yep that's that's the equation so now we've got 4 squared uh, minus 4 times 2 minus 9 by 2 9 over 2 whole square uh, which is equal to yeah and this will be uh, 5 squared uh, minus 5 times 2 minus 9 over 2 whole squared so yeah that's what we get now what we're gonna do uh, now is um, you know I'm gonna just multiply and divide uh, 2 in this middle term so what I'm gonna do is multiply this by 2 and divide this by 2 so it doesn't make any big difference because if we're gonna just uh, you know cancel off the 2's we'll just get the original value that we derived 5 times sorry 4 times 9 and 5 times 9 so that doesn't make any difference now let's take a closer look at this equation so we've got 4 squared uh, minus 2 times 4 times 9 by 2 or 9 over 2 whatever uh, minus 9 over 2 whole squared and then that is equal to 5 squared minus 2 times 5 times 9 over 2 minus 9 over 2 whole squared so this is in the form of a square well over here this will be a square minus 2 a b minus b squared so this um, is uh, similar on both sides except the fact that a 
is equal to I mean a is equal to 4 over here and a is equal to 5 over here so we can just simply write that as 4 minus 9 by 2 um, sorry whole square um, then that is equal to 5 minus 9 over 2 whole squared so well actually in algebra we must have learned a identity which is if a power m is equal to b power m then a is equal to b I'll just type that for you a power m is equal to b power m then we can say that a equals b well that is an identity so over here let's just relate this identity with what uh, we've got in our equation so um, we've got 4 minus 9 over 2 whole squared equals 5 minus 9 over 2 whole squared so these are different numbers but let's just don't uh, we'll, we'll just discuss about that later and look the powers are same um, so obviously a is equal to b that's what we get so let's just go ahead and write 4 minus 9 over 2 equals 5 minus 9 over 2 so that's what we get in this um, you know using the identity and simplifying um, the equation thing so from this we can just easily take off the minus 9 over 2 because it's just um, on both sides so uh, if we take that off we get 4 equals 5 now interestingly what was started as minus 20 equals minus 20 has become 4 is equal to 5 well we can further write that as 4 minus 4 equals 5 minus 4 I'm just subtracting uh, 4 on both sides so it's it's still equal which gives you 0 equals 1 so there you go this is the inequality inequality um, that uh, math has uh, probably so um, you know uh, look into this video a couple of times you know replay this and tell me in the comment section what the mistake is so that's all for today thank you guys uh, you know subscribe for my channel